Hi, this is Brian Hegney, instructor of Game and Interactive Media Design 999. Uh, so, I have some issues with my photoshopping. And some of these issues are like um, my normals map. Now, I know that this is weird. Um, this shouldn't look like this with this circle around here. And also this huge green strip that should not be there. That does not look like a real normal map. This looks like a normal map. Um, it's mostly blue, which is pushing outward. And then there's some little bit of R and green, red and green in there. But for the most part, not going to be red and green. And these are, and so I'm not sure why. But this looked fine. Again, these lines are like the wooden slats, the space in between the slats, and the space that the um, that the uh, rivets stick out. Like that's that's all normal. And of course, it looks very low res because I put out a very low res map on purpose so it would take it wouldn't take as long. And the other thing is the shadows are really weird. Like this is some weird shadow stuff going on. I don't quite understand that or didn't. And so this diffuses fine. There are a few things here that I don't love, but I can fix that pretty easily. So I wanted to like figure out what was going on. And what I found was, this is my assumption, you're going to find out along with me, is it, it because I did, I unwrapped my top and my bottoms differently. Remember so long ago when I was unwrapping and I thought, oh, I'll do such a great job at unwrapping these um, it turns out the top of my barrel was fine and the bottom was weird. And so let's go ahead and check out my unwrap UVW. Yes, I know I could potentially damage this. I want to open up my UV editor under edit UVs. It opens up this thing. And the one that works, let's see, I'm going to go into uh, polygon mode in my UVs. The circle on the right is actually the one that works. And the circle on the left is the bottom one. That's the one that I unwrapped like the easy, like the quickest is I unwrapped it this way. And I realized what I should do is actually not unwrap it the way that I did. I'm going to unwrap the bottom exactly the same way as I unwrapped the top. And that was to just select the slats. I'm going to now click on projection, planar map. And that, um, woo, that makes it really large. That's crazy. I'm going to fit that so it's smaller. Okay. And I'm going to uncheck planar map and kind of bring it off side here. That's what I did before with the other one. You know, it's the other one is just a circle too. Uh, I want to make sure that's facing the right way. So if I zoom in here, I see that that's actually backwards. So I'm going to have to flip that, and if I flip it, okay, now those letters are reading properly on the bottom. Fine. I'm okay with that. Um, do I want to rotate that? Sure. Let's go ahead, select this, and actually rotate it so it's almost as vertical as I can get. There we go. All right. So I'm not going to place this yet because I still have this whole thing to deal with, and this is what I was having trouble with here. Oh god, so, um, <laughs> this is the one I hated doing. Okay, let me just move this out of the way. This is going to take some space, and I have to remember, okay, so this is, I'm going to move up here, this one I'm going to move down here, okay, so we've got this barrel and then we've got the bottom rim. And what I need to do is figure out which edge this lines up. Oops. Uncheck select by element UV. Which edge does this line up with? Oh, there it is. You see it turn blue? That And which edge is that going to line up with? Oh, that one. Okay, so we actually have to flip this. Okay, so I am going to now select element, select that, and flip it upside down. I think that will work. And now when I stop it, when I click on my edge, uncheck select entirety. There's that. When I click on this, it should go to the right. Yes, perfect. Okay. So 
I am going to select these vertices right here and explode them. Um, where's explode? Break! I'm gonna break them. There we go. Okay, now, if I do that, and then I do that, do that, do that, there. And now I'm gonna select, um, I'm gonna weld these back together. So I am actually gonna click on, um, target weld. I'm gonna enable target weld, and then all I have to do is bloop bloop, and do bloopity bloop. There we go. Yay. Disable target weld. All right. So now, this is still really annoying. I wonder if I can straighten this out. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I am going to, yeah, rotate it first. There. And now I'm going to move them like that and now I'm going to move these move these move these move these I'm gonna kind of move all of these around whoops okay first now what I'm gonna do is rotate them because all of these need to be rotated. There's probably a better way to do this. And I'm going to do this for all of these. I'm not going to put you through this hell. So I'm going to pause it and you'll see me coming back when I'm done. Oh my god, that took so long. Okay, so I'm sure there's a better way to do it. And if I was a better person, I would look that up really soon. Which I will. But the next thing I wanted to show you was... um how to kind of double click this line each horizontal row and click on a line horizontally and, oops that's not what I wanted to do um select this align horizontally yes select this align horizontally yes select this I actually did want to do that so align horizontally yes okay and now I can move that up and what I want to do is, well, let me select this align vertically, select this align vertically, select that. If I select more than one and align them vertically, then they're all going to collapse into their own local, like, averaged normal. So until I find a better way, I'm going to just keep doing this. La 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 la. Sorry, this is boring. Um, <laughs> I'll pause. It. I, I'm almost about to pause it for you, but I'm so close. No, I'll pause it. And for now, now that I'm done, I'm going to. <laughs> I am going to double click this edge. No, oh, this is fine. This is fine. I'm going to go into vertex mode. I'm going to go into target weld. And I'm going to just blip. Nip. Now, this isn't that straight, so I am going to go to uh, uh, bleh. whatever that mode is, kind of move this up there. Now, keep this down here. In order to make this really helpful, I'm going to set this to only horizontal there. Now, when I go into vertex mode, I can actually, oops, target weld this and go like that. Can I? I can't because I have a stupid that mode on. Now I can. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so annoying. Go oh, set that back to horizontal. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all of these horizontal until they line up there. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to target well. These don't have to be perfect. Do they, Hegney? Just the ones that are, like, really off, uh, I'll care about. I sound like a robot. 
You can start to go crazy when you do this. Have you been able to tell that? This isn't fun, guys. I know this isn't fun. Unless you go a little. There, these look pretty bad. I know, I could probably have done this in a slightly easier way, but you know what? When you get so close to finishing, kind of forget that. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this back to just moving all directions, go to vertex mode, go to target weld, select these, and then just left click and drag them, and then let go. Oopsie, hit command Z. There we go. Make sure you select the bottom one, target weld, target weld, bloop. It's basically just selecting and dropping, selecting and dropping, selecting and dropping, selecting and dropping, dropping, dropping. Oops. Dropping. Pausing. And that is it. Thank goodness. I mean, this is slightly... I could go back and straighten everything out. I'm not going to do that in the video for you guys. I'm going to select um, face polygon mode, select the entirety. I'm going to move this here, move this here, move that there. Now, there's actually still going to be something annoying, and I think it's because of what I just did. Oh my gosh. So you can see this. I'm going to... I'm going to keep showing you what, what I'm about to do. It's a little insane. I think I need to select this polygon mode. Select that entire row, which is, you'll see here. Where is it? It's up there. I think I actually just need to break that. Um, that's what I want to do. I'm going to break it. There. I just broke it. And now I can select the entire thing of this guy and drag it up. And this thing, drag it up. And I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. I actually think I need to break this because that's going to give me, it's giving me some weird edge conditions. I'm going to break that. Good. Drag it down. Okay. And I'm going to try to render these. Um, I'm going to select everything now. Wait, what's going on there? Yeah, I'm gonna select everything, and I'm going to scroll down here and say pack normalize rescaling is fine. I don't want anything to rotate. There we go. Um, that's odd. Why are those? That's that's really weird. Oh um, no 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 no. Okay. Well, I didn't really want them to, I didn't want these to scale, just these. Oh, well. Um, I'm actually going to rescale this in the left-right direction, because actually this should be pretty much the same as my other, as the actual barrel. Not sure why it did that. And I'm going to scale this a little bit. Littler, okay. Okay, now that I have a wonderful, better um, projection, I am going to, yes, I'm going to uncheck that, come back up to my projection, yay, and I'm going to render the entire thing all over again. Do I have these open up in Photoshop? I do. Close all. Stop that and continue and I'm going to overwrite my files <gasps> uh oh oh that's not good let's see what happened there oh well 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 <laughs> oh 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 my normal map okay I think I need to just make a new... Okay, I'm going to delete this projection. Oh, sorry! Oh, I had nothing in there! Oh my god, hit Command Z. That's right. I didn't turn on my high poly barrel. Now I did. Now I can render that. Overwrite, overwrite, overwrite. And when that renders, I will show you in the next video. Bye!